Hi guys, morning from Kiev. My name is Maria and I'm making videos to share with the world Ukrainian culture, history and politics, as well as give you an update on the situation on the crown here. Please be sure to subscribe so I can continue making videos for you guys. Today I'm going to give you an update on what's going on in Ukraine or the last couple of days. So firstly, I'm sure you have all heard about the POWs being burned to death in Donetsk by the Russians. So the UN has uh, received requests from Ukraine and Russia to investigate uh, this horrific attack. We will see, of course, if Russia agrees to actually letting the UN or Red Cross investigate. Uh, the UN is looking into seeing if there is a possibility to conduct investigation, but I personally don't think it will happen. Or if it does, it won't be an open investigation. The Prosecutor General of Ukraine, Andrei Kostin, has blamed the Russians for using thermobaric weapons to kill uh, prisoners, uh, while the Russians have blamed Ukraine for using HIMARS to kill their own people. Obviously, the Russian version makes no sense, kind of like everything else they say. On a more positive note, the Turkish Defense Ministry have said that the first Ukrainian ship with grain has left the port of Odessa and it's on its way to Lebanon. I hope there are no issues because a lot of people around the world uh, depend on this and the following shipments um, of Ukrainian grain. I'm not sure if you guys know, but Ukraine is one of the largest exporters of grain in the world and provides many countries around the world with their basic food needs. We haven't been able to deliver um, this because the Russians have been blocking our ports, as you know, in the Black Sea. Turkey and the UN have guaranteed the safety of our ships, so let's see uh, what happens. Moving on, the UK will hand over warships to Ukraine, and the Ukrainian military is already doing the relevant exercises. The Ukrainian ambassador to the UK, Vadim Prestaiko, has visited this ship and has said that Ukrainian military is in control of the ship, the weapons, and that uh, there will be several such ships. These are anti-mine ships and Ukraine will receive two to begin with. The ships will be redesigned, updated, and will have special equipment that is needed by Ukraine. In other equally important news, August has come and McDonald's hasn't opened in Ukraine yet. We do know that the CEO of uh, McDonald's network company has confirmed the company is in the process of opening, but there is no uh, due date given. McDonald's employees are privately saying that Kiev can expect to get its Big Macs in the second half of August, but unfortunately the head of PR at McDonald's has said that there is no confirmed reopening date. Well, we will just keep waiting. I'm a vegetarian, but I'm 100% getting my french fries and Oreo McFlurry and will uh, live stream for you when it happens. Even with the war going on, we are unlikely to run out of potatoes like they did in Russia. Okay guys, that's it for today. Uh, make sure you follow and subscribe and I will do my best to keep updating you with news. Slava Ukraine!